right, all right. What's up, guys? John here. Titan Talk Tuesday in full effect. For you Instagrammers out there, sorry you guys aren't getting those pretty graphics this week. We had a little issue with the program, or they had an issue with their program, so I want to make sure we at least got on here. It was getting a little late, and I didn't want to hold you guys up, and I wanted to hold us up. So uh, we got a great show for you guys. Always on Tuesdays, and I love spending this time with you guys talking about some of the therapies, some of the things going on in science out there and health out there, and having just a good conversation with you guys. So we're going to get into a whole bit of different things today. The first one we're going to do today is we're going to talk about our ECA Stack Plus. So that's the therapy of the week. Maybe a lot of you guys know about the ECA Stack Plus. Maybe a lot of you guys don't know about the ECA Stack Plus. But what we want to do is we want to talk about what is the ECA Stack Plus because it's a therapy of the week, right? And this is a pretty good therapy for males and females. What's up, guys? Nice to see you out there. Ben Greer, what's going on? The Big Bear, Illmatic, my man. How you doing, Garcia? The Real Lois Lane, 96. What's going on out there? The Gift, man, we got all kinds of people. So glad you guys are tuning in. Like I said, Titan Talk Tuesday every Tuesday at 6 p.m. with me, no matter what. No matter where I'm at, I promise you guys I'm going to be on here for you guys. I'll get signal from somewhere, I guess, right? So ECA Stack Plus, let's get into the therapy of the week. So ECAs have been around for a long time, especially for weight loss. Um, they've got a lot of studies on some of these different ingredients working um, for metabolism purposes, fat loss purposes, and stuff like that. Um, the combination, ephedrine, caffeine, and aspirin, that's what ECA stands for. Uh, these combinations have been the ones that have been used for a number of years. Um, and at that point, what we did was, was we added two different things to this combination for the ECA Stack Plus. And what those things were, were B12 and chromium. So you have ephedrine, you have caffeine, you have aspirin, you have B12, and you have chromium, right? And you're like, all right, so what are these things and what are they going to do for me? I always like to explain these therapies and, and kind of what's in them and how they're going to work for you because... You know, you want the layman's term breakdown. I mean, you don't want to like, just sit there and like, read a whole bunch of different things. That's why I try to, you know, come at you guys and tell you guys exactly what it is. So, ephedrine. So, ephedrine is a stimulant, right? Ephedrine is going to help with a number of different things from opening up the airways. It's going to basically raise core temperature in the body, hopefully, at that point. It's also going to help with focus uh, and energy. So, this combined with caffeine i think a lot of people out there know what caffeine does a lot of people use caffeine in a lot of different ways uh, and those ways might not be the best ways for you to get caffeine in your system that just it's a it's a fact and some of these different ways that people are using caffeine uh, are in pre-workouts uh, in multiple doses of energy drinks or starbucks shots or coffee places in general and just overdoing it on caffeine levels Usually 400 milligrams is daily used for caffeine. Now, in, and I'm just using this as an example, in a pre-workout case, 400 milligrams is one serving size in that, you know, that bucket or whatever you purchase, right? And you usually dump one in there. I know people that dump two, three, four in there. I remember, you know, Big Drew back in the day used to do it, and I used to be like, oh my God, I, I just thought, man, he must be bouncing off walls. And what happens is, is you kind of overdose on caffeine, you know, at that point, and it creates a negative effect in a number of different ways for different people, from getting nauseated, stomach issues, heart palpitations, uh, anxiety for some people at that point, um, and some people have to go to the hospital. So over-the-counter fat burners. I know that a lot of people take a, a lot of over-counter fat burners because they want to lose weight. Everybody's trying to lose weight. They want to lose weight. They want to, you know, just find out what that magic pill is. Well, there is no magic pill. There's things that are going to help and expedite these different things. But over-the-counter substances might not be the best way to go because they have these different things in them that are mixed in there as far as ingredient-wise that, you know, you don't need. So that's really where we go with the ECA Stack Plus. So ephedrine is a stimulant that's going to help with weight loss. It's going to help out with focus. It's going to help out with energy. So at that point, you're going to have ephedrine blended with caffeine. So caffeine is obviously another stimulant. You know, at this point, it's going to help with energy too, boosting metabolism. So these two working together are going to create that weight loss effect. Now you have aspirin in there. Well, you're saying, why is aspirin in there? Well, it's a little baby dose of aspirin. It's going to thin the blood out a little bit for you. Uh, it's going to make sure that there's no heart palpitations, no you know, issues as far as that goes, and thin out the blood just a little bit. We don't want it thinned out too much, and obviously we don't want the blood thickened 
okay? And this is not going to thicken it either. So um, the next one, B12 and chromium. So B12, obviously, I think a lot of you guys know out there what B12 is, right? It's a vitamin. You can get it from a lot of different food sources. You can get it injectable. You can get oral versions, multivitamins, all different ways to get out there. So at this point, it's methyl B12. Um, and methyl is the most bioavailable or biosourced uh, B12 that you can get along with chromium. And you're going to ask, why chromium? Chromium is great for weight loss and boosting metabolism too. So essentially, before you only had two different components that were helping you and aiding with this energy, weight loss, and boosting your metabolism. And that was ephedrine and caffeine, where you're adding these two other things in there, like B12 and chromium, which are going to increase uh, the boosting all the way around. Plus, as far as the metabolism goes and for the weight loss effect, which is going to indulge you and get you the results that you guys are looking for. Uh, so it's a really, really popular one. Um, so that is the therapy of the week, ECA Stack Plus. Now, if you say to yourself, I'm very sensitive to stimulants or caffeine or you compare this to, an, don't compare this to an over-the-counter fat burner because it's not. It really is. It's very clean energy. You're not going to bounce off walls. Uh, you're not going to have that, you know, your, your skin's peeling effect or, or any of those jitters as far as that goes. It's going to be nice, clean energy, uh, very focused and not rattle-brained or, or scattered. Some people, like, they got a little pinball on their head, just bouncing back and forth because they, they, they just can't get a handle on it. It's going too fast, you know? They're overdosing on these different stimulants at that point, um, and it's affecting the way they are. So with this, you're going to get great fat-burning, great energy, great focus, okay? It's going to boost the metabolism, which is going to help you guys for weight loss and energy. So you don't have to drink a whole bunch of energy drinks and start building up a tolerance to those and just keep drinking more and more and more, which might have sugar in there or have these other ingredients in there that you don't need. They're going to cause you possibly health problems down the road. So at that point, you don't need to do that. Um, you don't need to put together anything. I know people put together like cough medicine or, you know, decongestant and aspirin and caffeine and they're Frankenstein these pills or concoctions together. Don't do that. You don't need to, okay? For the price they are, it really isn't worth your time and effort to do that. And it can get a consistent dose every time, okay? So let's move on. Now we got a question. What is the way to get more muscle for beginners? What is the, the steps to get abs and all that? All right, so... To get more muscle, obviously, you guys are going to want to eat. You guys are going to train. You guys are going to sleep. All right, those are the essential and foundations. After that, supplementation really comes into play. Now, depending on what your age is and everything like that, if you're over 30, I would recommend getting a blood test just to make sure testosterone levels are right, estrogen levels, all hormones are good. Everything else is working properly, like thyroid and stuff like that. Um, you're not deficient in any vitamins like vi vitamin, B vitamin D or vitamin B12 and stuff. Uh, look at what IGF-1 levels are. Uh, so that's growth hormone levels. Uh, making sure that's good, okay? So once you make sure that's good, obviously just entering, uh, you know, if you want to excel some of those growth factors and stuff like that, there's a number of different peptides out there um, that could possibly help you do that. Um, also, you can use vitamin amino acid injectable therapies. Now, what amino acids are, just building blocks of protein, that's what they are, right? So... When you're using, let's say, Hercules Potion, you might be getting more blood in there and stretching the facet tissue and stretching the muscle, right? And that's what you want to do is break it down so it builds back up stronger. So with these different things, you can utilize and possibly get more muscle mass, lean muscle mass. And that's why we want to focus in on is lean muscle mass. You know, to gain mass is easy. You go into McDonald's every day and you eat 6,000 calories every day and you're going to gain some mass. Is it going to be good mass or is it going to be lean mass? Good quality lean mass. You know, so that's what you really got to look at. And it's it's a world of difference, too. Um, you know, and I hate to use Drew again, but I, I compare Drew because I know Drew, I knew his diet before. It was all McDonald's. He wanted to crush all his food, and, and it was good, you know, to a certain extent because the, the man had abs. I mean, nobody can uh, nobody can go against what he had at that point. So, you know, he, he's okay. But looking at it now, and he, you know, recognizes now that he's in the best shape of his life. He's leaner. He feels better. He's sleeping better. You know, things are working out better as far as that goes. So, big Drew, I mean, big shout out to him because he's changed tremendously. Uh, but that's what it is. So, you got to get those different things down. And the supplementation after that will help you do what you need to. Now, abs, a whole different story. When we go into abs, we talk about a lot of times, I hear it, a lot of times, abs are made in the kitchen. Now, that goes true and that's untrue. Or it goes right inside with something else, I guess. And it goes right along with what I just said, uh, nutrition and training. So when we talk about nutrition, we talk about 
lowering down body fat, right? So abs can co can push forward and protrude forward. So you can see them, they're visible. But if you have body fat that's over them, like people have big bellies, your abs are not gonna show. And people may have uh, a strong core underneath, possibly, or they used to. You know, I know a lot of, you know, there were some former people, some former athletes I know um, that were in tremendous shape. I mean, ridiculous shape. Um, and life happened or injuries happened, and at that point, gained a lot of weight in the midsection area. Still a strong core. Like, if I, like, went up and hit them in their stomach, like, it would be strong still. Like, they could flex it, but it would, just didn't look good aesthetically, right? Um, and that could be for a number of different reasons, but, you know, it would do this. And so my biggest thing is, is you know, for your nutrition factor, you want to lower down as far as body fat-wise, and you don't really have to get crazy low to show abs. The next thing is just training your abs because abs are muscles and you can actually train your abs and your calves, okay, every day. So if you really want to do that, you really want to get abs because I remember when I was younger, it was a little bit harder for me to gain the weight. Now I'm talking about, you know, high school levels uh, and stuff like that where, you know, I was really strong, really lean mass, but I just couldn't put on the, the really good, like bigger mass, I guess, right? Um, so... I focused in on abs uh, and went along with all the different sports that I played too in high school, right? So, uh, you know, and before high school. So at that point, my abs and my core got developed like that. And I've always, you know, maintenance that, I guess. But there were times before when I wasn't going for huge mass because I was trying to be flexible for baseball or whatever it was. And I focused in on ab work. And that has helped me to this day. So I really believe that training your abs is essential. Um, to what you got to want to get for ab work. I mean, you know, I still have abs this day. And I remember my dad telling me, because my dad never had abs. So uh, at that point, you know, he told me, he was like, oh, he's like, we'll, we'll see. And this is a long time ago. He's like, we'll see when, when you're 40 years old if you have abs. So I got one more year to go, actually a couple months. I can't believe it's right around the corner. You know, February 23rd. <laughs> I'll be, uh, I'll be the big 4-0. So we will see if I still have them then. And God bless. Knock on wood, I still will. Or they might be even better. So who knows? All right, um, one more question. So how much is ECA Stack Plus? All right, so ECA Stack Plus is usually $90 for um, a 30-capsule therapy package. Uh, that's usually going to last you a month. You might take one every day. You can't take up two every day, right? And, and there's different dosages too. So at that point, you might be a low dose. You might be a high dose. Uh, we have some, uh, even a special dose for something after that if people need that. But we don't like to start people up at high dosages because you know they're gonna get a bad effect. The whole point is to get a good effect from it, um, have the medicine, medicine get utilized the proper way, and for you guys to feel good doing it. And you will too, it'll be like almost an euphoric feeling type type deal, which is it's really good, it'll, it'll increase your mood too. So that'll you know uh, hopefully uh, compensate for some things around you as far as maybe it's, you know bringing people into you or, or being excited to have you around. Uh, all right, so can I get all this these tests with you guys? Yes. So all the different tests, Everything that we do is nationwide, guys. From hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, so vit vitamin or ECAs, uh, injectable therapies for vitamins or uh, amino acids, excuse me, ECA Stack Plus, all our different signature blends like Titan Complete and all that different stuff, peptide therapy, libido enhancers, blood work. Um, if you guys are in the area or you guys who fly in, IVs, um, you know, whatever we do, you know, primary care could be nationwide too as well. We can help you guys out. You know, in the comfort of your own home, in your own state, wherever you guys are at, all you guys do is call or text 727-389-3220. We can set you up for blood work anywhere where you guys are at. So it's real simple and real easy. We get some demographics. You pay for it over the phone. You get a prepaid lab slip. Boom, bam. You're on your way into the lab. They're going to draw your blood. We're going to get the results in three to four business days and call you to uh, get you set up with your medical provider consultation get you a copy of your labs and get you guys rock and rolling, feeling good, looking good and performing better or just doing a good checkup and seeing, you know, everything's good or can I improve some different areas or something just doesn't seem right. I just can't put my finger on it and maybe I just want to do some blood work to see what's going on. Really, really, you know, you should be doing blood work at least two times a year and not just checking for, you know, your liver, your kidney and your cholesterol levels. Uh, you know, I, that's what main doctors, that's what they really look for in the beginning unless you start complaining about things and open up Pandora's box possibly and then they might start running some other blood tests um, because they have some different, you know, some different feedback from you as far as what's going on. All right. What else do we got here? Any more questions? Any stack pro, any peptide stack promos? Uh, what up, Victor? How you doing guys? Um, so 
I mean, the BPC and the 157, if you get those in combined, there's a discount on those. Um, so you might want to look into those. It's just really Manny, whatever you guys are looking for as far as goal-wise. And, and we kind of cater that to what you guys are looking for. Uh, BPC and TB500 for sure. Uh, Jose Rodriguez, what's going on? How you guys doing? Nice to see you guys. No problem, Jose. Have a good one, man. Just call or text a line. We'll take care of you. All right, so the next thing. So uh, when I was reading through some of the news today, it was really cool because the technology is just huge right now. And, you know, what we're doing, developing a medicine and stuff like that is, is ridiculous. Um, and we've already heard of CRISPRs before. And if you don't know what CRISPRs is, it's like gene editing, right? Um, that means they can fix different uh, strands of your DNA and stuff like that uh, or change different things in your DNA, which is really crazy. Um, and it's always brought up ethical questions. Well, I think it's been around for over 20 years now. Um, and now they have an injection for gene editing. And it's really cool. It like actually uh, attaches to like the proteins and stuff like that and go blood to brain barrier, break that barrier. Um, and it can actually get into the brain. It can actually fix things as far as that goes for like Alzheimer's, dementia. So, I, I mean, just think about this. Cancer is like, uh, it's ridiculous in the science of what they can do and in babies i know they did this in china where they completely edited children as far as that goes like everything um you know and when you do this earlier on you can choose eye color hair color height i mean pretty much everything that happens in that child so i mean just think about uh what we can do here in the future to help people and it obviously has you know there's always a good side there's always a bad side too right so these things can be used for bad things, but obviously good. And will these companies, like pharmaceutical companies, really want us to have things like this? Or will they lobby against it? Because think about it. Cancer goes away. You know how many billions of dollars pharmaceutical companies make off that? It's, it's, it's just, it's, it's crazy. And cancers have gone up, like skyrocketed in numbers in all different, um, in all different forms of cancer. So when we talk about this we, we really you know it's it's really crazy so ethical purposes that's another thing it raises people's uh, attention about um, is this ethical are we playing God to a certain sense and doing this because God made us this way and this is what's in our genes and this is how our DNA should be and this is what we should be doing but no I mean I think this is going to help a lot of different people especially kids you know they haven't lived a life you know this will give them possibly a life or be able to experience things that they would never experience before so super cool stuff i mean you guys should look this stuff is cool so it's really this stuff is positive stuff i love seeing this stuff all right now we're going to this anyway about chemicals and stuff like this do you know what's in your bottle of water this was an interesting one now if you're like me right you're drinking a lot of bottled water. I drink a lot of bottled water, and Avion is my thing. I love Avion water. I, you know, I, 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 I like Fiji. I could drink Fiji. There's a couple other ones I could drink, but Avion's me. Like Sharice, she's Aquapana girl. I, you know, Drew likes a couple different ones. Uh, you know, everybody like has their own type of water. I think that's what it is, right? So I was reading about this and PF, PFSAs. Um, are these basically man-made chemicals that are called forever chemicals. And these things have been in, I believe, 37 brands of water that they tested out of 75 brands. Um, and what these are, these are chemicals that don't break down easily. And these are chemicals that could cause cancer. Now, you know, I always feel weird about some water that I drink. And let me tell you why. Maybe you've experienced this and you guys will think about it too. So, if you get water that's been like sitting outside a gas station per se, right? And it's been in the sun and stuff like that. You know, some of these chemicals are probably seeping in there. Now, if you drink that water, it actually tastes weird. It tastes weird. And, it, it, you know, water like this, like I can tell right away. If I take a sip and it tastes like, like it, it's just a, it's, it, it's, it's a very, very niche taste. Like, you know, right away, like this doesn't taste right. And I won't drink that water at all because I know, like, I have done that before and I actually feel sick afterwards. Like, feel sick. So, I, I think Sharice has done the exact same thing. She can tell right away, too. And, like, she feels sick afterwards. So, maybe you've experienced this, maybe you haven't. So, they really need to step in because there are no rules and regulations in place about these chemicals. And there's about 5,000 of these different chemicals out there. And I think they've only studied two. 
So at, at that point, we really don't know what's in our water. And this is something that we are told we need to drink. And we definitely know we need to drink it because of our body. It's made up a majority of water. You know, our blood, our organs, all those good things inside, you know, that's all water. So we need to drink water, and especially if you're dehydrating yourself or you're working out or you're doing these different things. Um, you need water. Even if you're not, you need it on a daily basis, and it's going to help with a number of different things too in your body from hair, skin, nails. Uh, it's going to help with, you know, possibly detoxification of the body and all different types of things water can do. Plus, you need it. So <laughs> at that point, we really need to look into our water. We need to put pressure on on these different agencies to regulate water companies to make sure that we're getting something that's viable and something that's good for us because we're essentially, we need it and we're made up of it. So, and I think that's just in plastic. So the glass bottles, I think is a whole different thing. And they found this in 12 different carbonated ones. And I was really, really surprised. Like Perrier was on there. I was like, whoa, I was like Perrier. I was like, I think they're only in glass anyway. So I'm not really sure if it's all glass or if it's plastics too, but all the ones I usually drink that I have problems with have been in plastics. Glass bottles that I've ever had with water in it has been awesome. I've never had a bad experience with, with glass water. All right, so you guys rock. I'm learning a lot. I was unsure about your company. Hearing you speak, you know your stuff. Thank you. I appreciate that, Apex Predator Sports. So, uh, yeah, been doing this for nine years as far as Titan goes, so I think we, we know a little bit what we're doing here, hopefully. Uh, you know, we've got thousands of patients around the country. God bless. Um, and at that point, you know, we, we care about our patients here. So we've been doing this a long, long time. So any questions you guys got, you guys can call us. You guys can text us. We happy to help you out. Just order CJC. Any more good info you can give me about it. All right, so CJC and Perolin. CJC 1295 and Perolin. Might as well discuss it real quick while we get on the topic. So CJC 1295 um, is a GHRH. It's a growth and releasing hormone peptide. Um, predecessor um, to Semarellin. Uh, Semarellin was one GHRH uh, that was approved and that was for like dwarfism. It was supposed to replace growth hormone. And what it was supposed to do was, and what it does, CJC, is it actually stimulates your own natural growth hormone in your body. So it helps um, your own natural growth, growth hormone, right, produce without overstimulating, shutting down or putting too much crazy pressure on it. So at that point, it doesn't shut down and you don't have problems. Now, Improlin's a great thing, and it's another peptide that goes right along with it. And you can compare it to like GHRP2 or GHRP6. Now, the best thing about this is, is that with GHRP2 and GHRP6, you want to eat down the house after you took it 15 minutes. It stimulates the hunger hormone. So when you do this, you, you, I don't care what's around. If it could be cake, it could be ice cream, it could be steaks, it could be chicken, whatever it is. And I don't care if you've ate five minutes before you took this injection. 15 minutes later, you're going to want to eat again. Um, and it, it's not like you get super fat on it or anything, but it's not good to be eating those different things. Uh, where this is awesome because you're not going to get that hunger approach. Um, and that's really, really good. It works out really, really well as far as that goes. I, I think, you know, so for you, um, the best advice I can give you, shoot in the morning or shoot at night before bed. Best time to, to do it. 15 minutes in the, uh, or excuse me, in the morning, 15 minutes before you eat anything. You're getting on your day, you're rocking and rolling, or at night, right before bed. You can even, you know, some people are more disciplined, and they're they're shooting it, like, you know, constantly through the day, maybe three times, four times a day, whatever it is, um, and they're getting multiple injections. Now, they are getting multiple injections, and a lot of people don't want to do that. But here's the cold hard facts with and why they do that. Is it actually, with the Imperl and stuff like that, it creates a pulse, and, and the more they inject, the more it hits that pulse and the better it supposedly works for patients. So that's what it is. But a lot of people, they can't do that. You don't need to do that, okay? Um, but I'm just telling you from you know from one way you can do it to the most optimal way you can do it, you know? So at that point in the morning, 15 minutes before you eat or at night right before bed, best time to do it. If you have any more questions about it, um, just give us a call or text. We are here for our patients. So we will always be here and call, text, email. We're going to get back to you that day. We're going to talk to you. We're not going to hang you out to dry. I, I get a lot of calls and I actually get a lot of doctors that refer patients over or, you know, um, gyms or centers or coaches or whatever it may be. And the biggest thing is that they've already had their people with somebody else. And they've had really bad experiences. Uh, people not getting back to them, not checking up on them, not worried about their health, and not really giving them the value of what they're paying for. Um, and at that point, they usually call us. Like I said, we've been around for a long time. We've got a pretty good rep out there. Um, and we've got some number of different therapies that no other place has. 
So at that point, you know, and our thing is patient service, patient satisfaction, patient health. So with those things, we want to make sure you guys are getting the attention and you guys are getting the value out of what you guys are paying for. So at that point, we are here for you guys all day, every day, and we want to help out as best as we possibly can. All right, so nothing like that one, though. I just like, but it doesn't work on me. I can't hear from the other side, and the only one can do the, sam the sample is. Sorry, man, I kind of lost that on that one. Official Emily, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, you talking peptides. So I was talking peptides. Um, you know, basically throughout the question, a patient on there basically said that he just got a CJC 1295 with Imperellin, um, and he wanted to know um, any any other information about it. So that's why I want to discuss with him about injection times. I think that's really big. Um, some people don't know when to inject. Um, even it does say on the vial. So every prescription that you get, there's going to be directions that were on there from the physician or the prescriber, and that's going to tell you how to take your medication. And it has to be on there. So it's, it, people call up all the time, like, there's no directions. Nobody told me what to do. And, um, you know, at that point, we should discuss it with people. And if they call up, we should definitely go over it with them. But it is on the vial, so they do know. They can look at the vial, or you can look at the vial, and it should say the directions. Now, there are some directions that say, uh, use as directed. That's what the instruction says. So if you have something like that, definitely call. If you don't know, definitely call. If you don't want to inject, call up. You guys can also check out the YouTube um, the YouTube page has all our Titan videos. It has all these different therapies I'm talking about right now. Plus, I have injection videos on there that'll show you guys how to inject. So if you guys are looking, you know, how to inject Hercules Potion or some of these peptides like BPC-157 or TB-500, I'm actually the human pin cushion for you guys. So I'm there. I'm showing you guys exactly how to do it in some of the different areas that people normally ask about uh, very commonly. All right. So your body's connective tissue. Fascia. Love it right and it's normally really um not talked about too much right we talk about fascia a little bit here or there with the muscles but usually it's not talked about and it's really essential to talk about because you want it to be as healthy as possible now let's talk about what it is so it, it's basically a web-like connective tissue that goes around everything from muscles ligaments nerves it basically holds our form together it holds everything in um and this tissue you want it to be um, kept up or maintenance. And what happens is this, is we can work out or do damage to our body, which dries up the fascia. Now, drying up the fascia can restrict movements, cause pain, uh, problems, basically. Um, inflammation in there can cause an issue. So we want to really try to keep this as best as possible. So you're asking me, so it, you know, even with us being inside with COVID, with some of the states we were inside for a long time, uh, I'll, I'll talk about several and real quick in a second, Tammy. Let's, let me go over fascia real quick, and I'll cover Seminole after that. So when we have this fascia, we want to make sure that it's healthy fascia. And healthy fascia is like slippery, wet, very flexible. Whereas when it's damaged, it's really dry, restricted, irritated, and inflamed. Um, and with this is going to cause you, like I said, problems, pain, all these different issues of restricting movement and stuff like that. So the best ways to stretch fascia or to create healthier fascia. One way is to stretch. So, yeah, it's a lot of people don't stretch at all. My, and I, I'm kind of guilty of it sometimes. I don't stretch. But I've been trying to come around and doing some stretching exercises, at least in the muscles that I'm going to be working out, right? Because I'm getting older. I recognize this. I don't want more, any more injuries. I've got injuries right now. Still working through them. But I don't want any more. So I'm going to try to do whatever I can and be preventative. <sighs> all right. The second way to do this is you can foam roll. And you know what? I, I really wasn't on the foam roll bandwagon. I, I know it could be good, I guess, right? But there's actually clinical studies with foam rolling. Really crazy. And actually will help with the onset of soreness and, and all these different things that I read about. And they were actually kind of true. So really a good way to do it is foam roll. I heard it releases. It helps with the fascia. So I can't go against that. If there's some studies done on it, that's really cool. Awesome. So foam roll is another one. Now... The other one, the third option, which is probably the best option is what they say, um, is vibration therapy. So if you've seen those guns like the TheraBody and stuff like that, look like they're pulsating and they're just hitting you like this, the little ball, just rapidly. Um, so there's actually studies on this as far as that goes, and it helps the best out of all three. Um, and these, these guns were really expensive when they first came out. I remember they were like, you know, like 300, 400 bucks or whatever it was. I'll talk about NAD too. Give me one second. 
But so these guns are really, really good as far as tools to help you guys recover, to make sure your fascia is good. You want to make sure the fascia, which connects all our tissues and everything together, um, is healthy and, and good for you. So you're not having any pain or restricted issues and your body is working at optimal levels and as healthy as it possibly can be inside and out. All right, so let's go back to some of these questions. Semerolin, what is that exactly? So Semerolin is a GHRH. It's a growth and releasing hormone uh, peptide. And at that point, what it does is it helps stimulate your natural growth hormone. Um, this was in the 70s. I believe it was 73 and stuff like that. Um, it was supposed to be a substitute for real growth hormone. Um, they're nowhere, in, nowhere in the, in the level of the exact same. Nowhere as far as results and, and, and what they do. Um, but it is good. The reason is because when, they're, when you're taking Semerolin, it doesn't overstimulate the pituitary. Um, and it actually helps with sleep. And sleep patterns are going to help IGF-1 and, and healing and all these different things. Um, so that is what it is good for. So it is good in that level. And it's not going to cause the negative issues um, that growth hormone can do. And it's not nearly as expensive as growth hormone, which is another big thing. Now, if you're looking to go that route, you think, oh, Semerolin's for me. CJC1295, and we have it with Imperellin, and it's the exact same price. You're getting two peptides at, at the same price, where CJC1295 is the bigger, better model. Uh, and why I say this is, is because it actually um, has a longer half-life in the body. It works longer in the body, which can help you guys out with results with a number of different other benefits it has. With the Imperellin, those work synergistically together, and they're going to give you a way better result than taking one by itself, for sure, 100%. You guys, check them out. CJC1295, Imperellin, Tam. Me. I hope that answers your question. If you have any more, you guys can call or text 727-389-3220, uh, you know, or ask me now. Benefits of NAD. Oh, my God. There's so many benefits for NAD. If you haven't heard of NAD, I'm really surprised. And, yes, Tammy, we supply all these different things. So, NAD. So, NAD is awesome. NAD is in every cell in our body. It works as far as energy-wise. It helps with the mitochondria in the brain, you know, so to repair brain cells. Uh, so, there's a lot of different things that NAD does as far as, you know, energy cell repair. So our cells, you know, they die off, they, they get broken down and they never repair themselves to 100%, which causes a lot of breakdown in the body. So with this, it can actually help repair those cells, which is really cool. Um, cognitive thinking, enhancement, brain enhancement as far as thinking wise, focus. Um, that's what really what it helps out too. So with these different things, like you can ask around, I mean, it, We've been doing NAD in therapies for seven years, seven years. Um, now, NAD has come out really, really big. Like I see like these over-the-counter supplements like Elysium and stuff like that um, that have these different NAD things in them. Well, this is injectable. And a lot of the different clinics, they started catching on this year um, and they're doing by IV, which is awesome. But regular people can't do IV in their house right? They're not going to hook themselves up daily where you can do this injectable and you're going to get the exact same effect, which is really, really cool. Um, the IV is just going to take a lot longer. You can do a little bit more in the IV per shot or per, per dose, I guess, but you don't need that much not to get the effect that you really want or really desire or what's really going to help you. So that's really where it comes into play in doing that. Okay. All right. Calling cast ASAP. All right. <laughs> Tammy, Tammy, calling cast ASAP. Yeah. Cast knows about this for sure. So if you guys don't know who Cass is, he's one of my nurse practitioners here. Uh, great guy knows his stuff, learn from the best um, here at Titan. So he's Titan certified as far as that goes. So at that point, you guys will get some good information from him, and you'll probably even see him on your appointment. You don't know. It might be Chenille. could be one of the doctors. You just don't know. But at that point, it's really good. How testosterone help fat to be in the right places in your body? Okay. How testosterone helps fat be in the right places in your body? So testosterone does not help fat placement in the body where high estrogen levels can place fat deposits in the body okay um what testosterone does is it, it, it's a hormone and it has a number of different functions in the body of what it does and how it affects the body um but your biggest thing is is i, I would think that you know raising metabolism and losing fat is going to change up fat storage in the body and i think that's kind of what you're looking for um you know that's that's what it is so uh, I hope that answered your question. Uh, Chenille, shameless is the best. Chenille is the best. I thought you said shameless. Chenille is awesome. So big shout out. Thank you, Myra and Mike. I appreciate that. I'll, I'll tell Chenille. She's really knowledgeable too. She's been with me for almost three years too as well, which is awesome, man. I mean, Cassie, I think he's coming up on his year too as well. Um, it's really crazy how time flies, especially this COVID period and all this crazy different stuff that's going on. 
But uh, yeah, so let's let's move on. Let's move on. So fascia, please, you know, do stretching. Um, you guys can do the foam roller. I think, you know, I might even try foam rolling and see how it is and, and tell you what my opinion is of it because I haven't done it, so I won't judge it. But it has the studies behind it. You know, it cannot be bad. And, and if you can do a foam rolling, then definitely do it. And I know a lot of people that do it. I just haven't got on that bandwagon yet. You must not have enough time. Barely get enough time to work out. All right. And the ther 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 body gun, or there's different ray guns or there are a number of different things you'll see them you guys can look at those tools um to help you guys recover or get over injuries faster so really really cool stuff uh, and i have one of those uh, so i could vouch for that big time i might even bring it on with big drew this friday you never know all right so let's get into the titan weekly poll this is the end of the segments um and i want to go over the poll that we have in our newsletter and you're asking well i didn't see this poll how do i get to be interactive with this poll or even cast my vote well you guys got to be a part of the newsletter so i say it every week and how to be a part of the newsletter it's real easy and simple all you guys got to do is call or text or excuse me you guys are going to text the number 22828 and the word tight medical so you're going to text the word tight medical to the number 22828 and what that's going to do is going to prompt you to just be added to the newsletter and that comes out every week so every week you're going to get the newsletter it's going to talk about what the therapy of the week is like this week was eca stack plus uh it's also going to talk about different things that we got going on at titan uh maybe it's events um maybe it's special discounts um maybe it's just information that we're putting out there just for the newsletter for our patients or for people that are Titan medical center supporters so you guys will get to see all this great stuff plus the polls in there and the polls is being getting bigger and bigger and bigger as far as that for interactive. I like to see people um, answer this poll question. And at that point, it even opens up conversation possibly about things they didn't know or possibly things they want to try. So let's get into the poll question. All right. So what what's your favorite energy fat burning aid? So I think everybody out there wants to lose weight. Right, so that's where we kind of came up with this poll question because it goes right along with ECA Stack Plus. It's one of our most common and most sought out therapies because a lot of people want to lose weight, especially after quarantine. The quarantine 15, people couldn't move, they couldn't exercise, they couldn't be active. They're eating like garbage, you know, they got all this junk food coming to their house, they're sleeping, they're sitting on these calories, you know, and essentially that's what we do. We take in food for calories, and calories are energy. And we don't expend that energy. And what does our body do? It says, you know what? Don't worry about it. We're going to store and save this energy what turns into fat cells. Then it's sitting on you. And you're like, oh, man, how did I gain this weight? Or why am I looking like this? And then summer came and everybody was like, oh, man, I kind of looked around. I'm like, oh, everybody was kind of slack on the summer thing because we didn't know when we were getting out. But the thing about it is that you guys should take the extra step now to try to get your body in the best shape it can be. So when you hit summer or spring, this next year you're ready to go and you're not so far behind it's gonna be like oh my god right so my heart mike so with people with high blood pressure that's the one thing eca stack plus there are a couple caveats now obviously we're worried about you guys health out there that's number one so we'll make sure you guys are a long we want longevity vitality and longevity so you know with eca stack plus it might not be prescribed to you um if you have high blood pressure like super high blood pressure heart or cardiovascular issues there's some different things it's it's very small um now what i would do is my mike is just ask to be reevaluated to see and just ask now it, it chenille will usually she'll be cool about it if it's if it's able to be done but she would she would not risk your health or your life for anything like that and you shouldn't either there's some other different things that possibly we can do that might get you the same effect um but it won't be the exact same therapy okay Krista Trainer, what's going on, man? How you doing? Look good out there. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you. So, the weekly poll is, what's your favorite energy drink or fat burning aid? Because everybody wants to lose weight and everybody wants to lean up. Me too, right? Just want to get better. All right, so the first one was energy drinks at 13%. And we talked about this earlier. So, energy drinks, is a, it's, it's, it's a huge market. I remember going into, like, uh, gas stations years ago. Uh, right, and there was maybe maybe Red Bull, and then you had Monster, and then you had all these different brands, and there's just so many brands now that you just can't keep up, and then all these different companies have came out with either amino blends or creatine blends or this blend or this blend, or this blend. like oh my god, and if you really look in the back of you, you're like oh my, all right, so what's in these ingredients? You're like some have like super creatine or they have like these different things in there like chemicals or whatever it may be. Wow. You're like, 
why? You don't need that. The whole point is, is not to take in the things that you don't need. Don't, because your body's going to have to get rid of it somewhere or how, or you're going to have to expend it. So at that point, if you don't have it in there, you don't have to worry about it. That's why I eat pretty bland. I mean, A, I like the way it tastes, and B, I know exactly what I'm putting in my body. I know the calorie count, I know kind of around the lines, depending on where I'm at. But if I make the food, I know exactly where I'm at. So that's kind of what you want to do, and you want to be accountable for what you're in, intaking. So if you don't know what you're intaking, you're just drinking, it's like, oh, this has the caffeine I need in it, but it has all these other, other things in there. You're taking that in too, so account for that as well. So don't use those if you don't have to. Exercising regularly. I like this. Really good. 24%. That's awesome. That's really, really good. And I, I would agree with that. Exercising is definitely a part of uh, energy and fat burning aid. And it can definitely help. But some people need some expediting or need some help as far as that goes. And that's really what we're gearing this towards this question. But exercising regularly, definitely, that's that should go with everything on here. Uh, NO Explode. Or OTC supplements, like no-dose, 13%. So it's tying energy drinks. So you guys are out there taking pre-workouts or over-the-counter supplements or whatever it may be. And at that point, utilizing those, like I said, it's the exact same thing as we were talking about energy drinks. It has so many different things in there. You really don't know what it is. Uh, on the label, there could be you know different spikes of different different things. Um, so And you got to intake it orally. You're going to have to break it down through the liver. Your liver is your filter, your body. And at that point, when you're doing that, you're causing more stress on it. So if you don't have to do that, a plus. Now you're saying the capsule. Well, the capsule is going to be a lot less strenuous on there than all these different things you're probably taking in. Okay. All right. So Titan Therapies, 48% with the winner. All right. So now we know. We know that people are definitely getting good results as far as energy and fat burning aid. And let's do a number of different therapies. Like I said, ECA Sac Plus, Therapy of the Week, Titan Up, Titan Complete, some of the different peptides. Um, getting really, really good effects. I'm um, really, really happy with that. So that's awesome. You guys keep doing your thing, right? Get ready, get ready, because spring and summer will be here as soon as you know it. I promise you. And I already can't wait. And we're not even out. We're in, I, well, I guess we're in, we're in fall now with October, right? Uh, so hopefully you guys have got your costumes or you guys can, you know, go do a, a Halloween party or something like that. If you guys are in Tampa, we're having a, a Halloween duo, I guess. We'll be in Orlando earlier in the day at the Mid Florida Classic presented by Titan Medical Center. So we'll be in the house. We'll be there personally, me, Sharice, Big Drew, Art, and the crew. Um, and then we are on our way to back to Tampa. Uh, we will be at the Vampire Ball in the Cuban Club. Um, that's put on by Pied Piper Productions. We're one of the title sponsors along with Castellano and another group. I apologize. I don't know who it is, but I do know. Castellano's with us on that one. Um, so that one's going to be a real, real big one. And I like the tagline, 2020, because cause 2020 sucked. <laughs> it really did for a lot of people. So, you know, it's not even something to laugh about. It's just really, really true. But we'll be there. Cuban Club, bringing our costumes out. We're going to look good. We're going to feel good. We're going to have a great time doing it. So you guys, check it out. Check those events out. Um, November, we've got Cars and Core Tour on the 14th. And then we have Festivals of Speed in Orlando on 1212. Um, so that's going to be another good event. So we have a diversity of events. So if you guys don't like bodybuilding, you guys get a fashion show. If you guys like cars, if you guys want to go come dress up on Halloween, uh, you can come check us out. We'll be in a number of different places. Plus, we always have pop-ups at some of the different gyms uh, and local places around here or in your town or city near you, possibly. You never know where Titan's going to be. So you guys want to come by those booths. We'll put the, the information out there. Grab a free T-shirt. Sign up there, and you guys can be put on the, the newsletter. And you can talk to uh, some of the reps there and possibly get in touch with us if you want to know more information about Titan Medical Center and all our great therapies that we can help you guys out with. So, guys, it's been awesome. I appreciate it. Guys, make sure you guys are – please share this on Facebook. And Instagram, please tag a couple people. At tag a couple people, please. And you guys can also share this on your – um on your Instagram timeline too. It's really, really cool. Check that out. YouTube, guys, press the all notifications button, hit the bell so you guys get all the updates of Type Medical and all our great content. Also, guys, TypeMedicalCenter.com. You guys can get most of our gear that's on there. If you see something maybe I'm wearing or something maybe an athlete's wearing or a tight net, we possibly might have it and it might not be on the website. So your best bet is to call or text, see if it's in stock and we'll be able to get it out to you so you guys can rock, rep, and love, support Type Medical Center. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you next Tuesday, 6 p.m. for Titan Talk Tuesday. And Friday with Big Drew at 2 p.m. for Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. And we will see you next week. Bye, guys.